So we've got Spiderbit here, the leading competitor there. Three, two, one, go. There we, there we go, about four and a half, almost five holes to one. What? What, what, what makes this one so much faster? So this is a, our new patented paddle bit. It has got a black, black oxide finish for durability. It's got a, uh, a uh, auto feed patented tip technology that's here. You see the slot? Yep, I see that. that. Right. Yep. That's on both sides, which gives it like a self feed technology right there. It's also built for uh, impacts, which has a quarter inch speed hex on it as well. Oh, so yeah. this is available and uh, just came out about a month ago this video all right guys we're back to nashville where we're going to be wrapping up this series on the newest cool coolest tools gear equipment and innovations coming down the pipeline in 2020 and there's some really crazy stuff in this video i kind of saved some of the best stuff for last so after you check this out let me know what your favorite tool was and you know what without wasting more time let's just get into today's video All right, so this is our latest uh, from Simco, our latest integrated tool. Uh, this here is our low speed tool. Uh, we have a button here to push, drop it down to 1600 RPMs for this very heavy uh, gauge steel. So is this the same tool, different applications? Uh, different applications, different motors. So we have a 2500 RPM motor that drops the 16, and then we have our high speed uh, 5000. And this is for drywall. Mainly drywall. And this, this is, is for framing. And th yeah. this is powering screws. Screws. Not bolt. Not nails. One of the biggest features too we made. Now you can take this off, unlock it for any screws that you have uh, that you need to put in or take out. And that is coming out today, or is this launching launch today? Launching today. Availability in March. Nice. So you guys are seeing it. Probably about the same time you can buy it. Yeah. All right, guys, we're with John. Did you design this, John? not designed this, no. okay so this is a new tamping system that takes the vibration out of the operator the guy using it yep okay can you show me how that originally works originally designed for road repair for tamping asphalt okay so you've got a special puck on the bottom of it it's got a rubber insulator that absorbs the impact does that dissipate or lessen the compaction density at all or it so it just makes it so you you can go home without your forearms feeling like they're on fire? That's correct. Do it one more time for me, would you? There you go. By Lansing Forge. Where can guys find that at? LansingForge.com. LansingForge.com. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. So we've got new by Crescent. This is actually the extra wide handle. It's got an extra wide head, a little shorter handle, and it's designed for confined spaces. So let's say you want to get in here and you got what, is this a typical eight, eight inch crescent wrench? A, it won't fit. Even when you widen the jaws out all the way, it won't fit, right? And then you can get a 10 inch. You can get it on, you can get it to fit, but you can't get it to turn, right? So that's a problem a lot of guys have. But now with the wide head, you can get it on and you can get it to turn with no problems. So that's new by Crescent this year. Okay, so my question was, what about torque? I was a little worried. I mean, you shorten that handle up, you're not gonna have the leverage that you typically would, but what did you say? So if you look at the design, the key functional strength of an adjustable wrench is in the pin and also in the knurl. So this is an eight inch wrench, this is a Crescent 10 inch wrench. You'll notice that the knurl is the same size and the pin is the same size. So these wrenches are designed to meet the torque requirements of the next size up wrench. So the eight inch meets the 10 inch spec, the 10 inch meets the 12 inch spec, etc. What is the name of it? This is the Crescent Wide Jaw Adjustable. Okay, there you go. And when does that come out, do you know? They are available now in sizes six, eight, 10, and 12. When did they come out? Um, we launched them late September. About okay. a month ago. All right. Two months ago. New by Crescent, you guys. Thank so you. this one is new that nobody's ever seen before, patent pending, and you won't see it anywhere else, right? Nope. So this is our brand new U-Guard, and what it is is it's a non-marring sleeve, free spinning, right in our apex bits right here. So there's a few applications that we can actually do with this. So as you can see, we have a nut setter with us. 
And one of the things that you can see in a lot of houses are these painted vents. And it allows you to tighten up the vents without actually marring up the surface. So that saves a lot of time and effort and actually saves a lot of blue tape from you guys having to you know, retouch all this up. The other thing too is we also have our Phillips screw head here, allows you to hold on to the sleeve, go in really tight surfaces, non-marring, goes in and out. You can actually hold on to the bit itself and tighten it up. So you're not screwing up your door handles, you're not screwing up your hinges, you're not screwing up your woodwork. Nope. Because the sleeve actually stays stationary while the bit inside turns. Exactly. And the other That's thing too crescent. is... That's my crescent. Safety. Hold on to it. Doesn't, doesn't bound up your hands. You can keep your hand right on it. Awesome. All right, new by Southwire. Go for it. So you can turn this on and off. This is designed for guys that are working in the field. They got gloves on. They can't reach a button. Maybe you just got greasy hands, or dirty hands. And I don't have the magic. Is there like a speed or something that you got to do Not it? Not so much the speed, but you got to be a little bit away from it, maybe an inch away. So the sensors see it. And then it's magnetic as well. Yeah, so let me show you. I'm going to take this off. There's two magnets in the back, right there. So I can okay. stick it on anything that's make that's metal. Um, probably, I need to light something up, and then you can back up work, and then you can pop it back on. Absolutely. Also IP65. So yes, it is. Waterproof. Yep, waterproof. And these guys can get them anywhere you find Southwire tools or on Amazon.com. So this is a self-adjusting pipe wrench. And it's basically kind of almost a one-handed pipe wrench after you get it set up. Is that right? Correct. You can see that it accommodates different sizes of pipes, 5 8 up to inch and a half. And you don't have to take the wrench actually off the, the pipe. Okay, that's pretty wild for a pipe wrench. Wow. And that's by Crescent, right? That is correct. And this is already out? Uh, we have a version of this out that is a little bit more DIY. It's kind of smaller. This is an expansion of that. We beefed it up, added an extra two inches to the handle. You got the full steel look, more of an industrial application. All right. Thank you. Hey, guys, what's going on? I want to show you my mobile workstation here. Basically, what I've got is a nice hand truck to move all my tools together. It's a little work surface on the top. I need a little more work surface. Pretty easy. All I got to do is take this table off the back. Pull out these legs, put them into place, flip it over, come in a nice high angle, check that out. Walks right in, don't need any tools to do that. And I got easy access to all the tools right there on the job site. Got my drill driver ready to go. Got a whole other stack of tools down here. And if I want to take this out and put them somewhere else, I can grab the whole stack at one time. Oh, look at that, even a little extra storage down in the bottom. So this allows me to take that shop experience on the work site. And this is new by Fest Tool this year. So now Crescent has a new pipe wrench that is designed to let guys get into tight spaces. And so tell me about this thing, would you? new line of uh, pipe wrenches. This is an aluminum pipe wrench. They're available in cast iron as well. You've got this patented canine jaws that are at an angle that allow you to work up to a 30 degree angle and still turn the pipe. So, so you don't have to be dead on anymore to actually grab that pipe and to turn it. Other benefits, it's, uh, it's a little bit lighter uh, than some of the other pipe wrenches that are out there. The leading domestic uh, pipe wrench, it is uh, about five to 10% lighter, how much is good. And then also this mechanism here is a much faster mechanism for opening and closing the jaw than the other leading pipe wrenches that are up. So if you guys, when is this going to be available? It's going to be available uh, Q1 in 2020, and uh, that's uh, the new line of pipe wrenches. All right. Still going to be able to wind up easily. All right, so we're, Nick is actually showing Tim and I uh, some of the different cords. So polar solder is what I use. I, I won't use anything else that's the best. I'm gonna give them a shout out. What's with the different colors? What do those mean? Hey, different colors are just, what, what you wanna identify is your colors on the job site. Um, I actually, my favorite one is the pink with the green stripe going down the middle. Um, Cause when it's out in my yard and everything, I can actually see it. Um, other guys just like the black. Other guys wanna be all American and get the red, white, and blue uh, 
ones, but these are all made uh, right here in the States. So the polar solars, if we get back to these, yep. what are they good down to? It is negative 60? Is no, that's negative 60 Celsius. Celsius. Right. So um, extremely cold temperatures right there. And once you have to wind them up, they're still going to wind up no problem at all. Um, no matter how cold you, uh, you can get those guys. And that's what I use. All right, guys, we're going in the Crescent booth to see what's new with them. We've got Lucinda. What are we looking at now? So we are looking at the all new line of Crescent tool bags. These are awesome bags. They've got a hard base so you can drag them around your job site and it won't break. We've got genuine YKK zippers with a three year warranty. What is a YKK zipper? YKK zipper, look on any zipper that you have and it's probably YKK. They are the world leader in zipper manufacturing. Okay. On the inside, we've got a high-vis orange okay. interior and we have got these pockets. They're straight pockets with no bottom. So all your little fasteners actually fall right through and you can find them again. Oh, wow. So you'll find them in the bottom. But you guys got six new bags? We got six different bags. Everything from clothes backpack and even an open version and that's new by crescent this year yes available now sweet thanks lucinda okay so actually off camera um you guys were just having a conversation i kind of want to include in because you mentioned the zippers lucinda and kevin can you explain to me how they actually test zippers because it's actually pretty interesting yeah sure so there's some guy that sits in a factory and tests this to 15,000 cycles. Open, close, that's one, that'd be two. And that's his job? That's his job, it's very important, because zippers are always the first wear point on a tool bag. And so this is, they do that with yours, but. So 15,000 cycles, and the standard in the industry is to 500 cycles. So we wanted to make sure, because we know that there is, a, this is a, a common wear point, we wanted to beef it up with some YKK zippers, and we wanted to test it to a real cycle count that means something in the industry. And we also have a three-year warranty in case, you know, you do have a malfunction, something gets in there, we will replace that bag for a charge. Three years? For three years. On a work bag? That's right. Well, okay, what's the stipulations, though? There's no stipulations. So, you know, so you got to have, like, a lot of red, red tape to go through and, nope. and hoops to jump? No, you register the bag when you purchase it on our website. And if you have a zipper failure, contact our customer service department. So what if this? What if this is like all ripped up here or something? This, these, the, the rest of the bag is kind of covered under our standard Crescent limited lifetime warranty. Okay. Cool. <laughs> So, right. so what are we looking at with this thing? We are looking at a Crescent HK Porter Power Pivot Bolt Cutter. This is a double compound design, designed for high leverage cuts. Uh, easily cuts through metal rod, chain, uh, locks, any sort of metal rod material. And this is much better than any competitive bolt cutter because of this double compound design. You get more leverage, 30% more leverage when cutting through material with this double compound design. And that was new out last year, right? Last year, yes, sir. By Crescent. Yes, sir. Cool. Crescent HK Porter. All right. Thanks, Kevin. Appreciate it. And that's it. We're all done. This is everything that I could find for you guys at Stafta, all wrapped up in a tidy little bowl. There were three videos in this series. And a big thank you goes out to LMN because what I said in video number two, without their help, I couldn't get out there. Here's the deal, guys. I'm a contractor. I still run a business and for me to take time off to go from Minnesota out to Nashville to film a video like this means I got to have assistance and so all the guys from Allen Man came in and said hey we'll sponsor to take you out there so you could show the coolest tools gear equipment and gadgets to the contractors in your audience and the only thing they ask is if you're in the market for some new software just go check out the link that I'm going to put below and I think that's pretty dang cool because what this does this frees me up a little bit so that I can travel around, bring content like this to you guys and hopefully make your life a little bit easier because, you know, the coolest tools go hand in hand with running your business better. And running your business better, really the key to running your business better, isn't just in what you put in your hand. It's the office systems that you implement and everything else that goes along with it. And I think that's a big part of the equation that a lot of guys miss. 
So if that may be one of you guys, just go check them out. It doesn't cost anything. You can just look around and see if it's right for you because it is a software system that I ended up going with. So anyway, that's all I got for today. Do me a favor, check out the video here and the one I'm going to pop up here, and we will see you on the next one. God bless and go get them, you guys.